Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is another beer that was actually sent to me. Um, this was sent by Heineken who now owns um, Newcastle. <clears throat> Sorry. It came in a box with um, a nice letter, a little ad about going on about uh, Newcastle and Newcastle Brown Ale, a few cups, uh, two of these beers, uh, the Brown Ale. Uh, what else did it was in there? Coaster. I'll, I'll show you guys a picture. Really nice glass actually. Big fan of this glass. Really nice. And uh, yeah, a couple beers. I uh, thought I'd review them. Uh, someone from the company, I guess, reached out to me and asked if I, uh, I don't know if they specifically asked me to review a beer, but I will be reviewing beer if you send me beer. So, let's dig in. Um, again, a macro beer, brewed again by Heineken, brewed actually at Heineken. So it is under the Newcastle name, but brewed at Heineken, owned by Heineken. And it is a brown ale. Um, haven't had it in a long, long time. 4.7% uh, British ale. And by the way, if you notice, this beer, uh, this bottle is very different from other beer bottles. There's something like, I guess I just reviewed this, uh, the Cantillon. Um, a clear <laughs> a glass bottle. Uh, if you see this laying around on the shelf, uh, near any sunlight, just do not purchase that beer. Um, the clear bottle does not protect the beer from being light struck. So when a certain amount of light hits beer, it will react with the um, chemicals, the hop oils in the beer and the hop compounds, and it will skunk the beer. It will smell uh, very offensive. It, it will basically ruin the beer. The, ba the beer is basically ruined when, you light um, when it's light struck. So just make sure you buy it from a box somehow if it's in a dark place. Just make sure that you hope that it is not uh, a ruined beer. So let's dig in. Uh, beer comes in a really beautiful color, yeah. Just a really dark amber, red, a little bit of brown. Um, yeah, really, it was, you get some reddish coming through, but a really just a light brown kind of color. Uh, wonderful head, let's get the aroma on this. Interesting. Um, I'm almost, almost getting this kind of banana estery kind of thing, which is pretty interesting. Uh, something like a little bit of a German Hefeweizen, kind of a, a spicy banana kind of note, but in general, a lot of breadiness, sweet breadiness, a little bit of toasty quality. Yeah, a really nice kind of um, familiar, you know, English brown ale, just that kind of uh, little bit of toasty bread, uh, melanoidin kind of thing is what it's called. Cheers. Yeah, it doesn't taste skunked. It doesn't really smell skunked. And then again, I'm still getting that kind of touch of this estery kind of quality. Again, a little bit of spicy, a little bit of fruity banana kind of thing. That could just be straight up from the um, English yeast they're using. Follows on the palate, medium toasted malt, uh, medium minus toasted malt, very mild flavors throughout. I really like the mouthfeel. Nice carbonation for 4.7. It's a crisp beer, flies off the palate quite nicely. I'm getting a little bit of lingering hot bitterness, a touch, sort of what you'd get from a well-made lager, that kind of just like touch of hops to sort of uh, clean the beer out, but you know, not a substantial amount like an IPA. Yeah, um, again, it's a brown ale, but it drinks very much like a mild tasting lager there's a uh, macro lager not too much flavor going on but you do get that kiss of wonderful uh, uh medium minus toastiness up front um fine beer you know <laughs> not too much to say about it watery about halfway through you get do get a little again that wonderful maltiness a little bit of creaminess up front but then watery afterwards a touch of those hops on the back end um as for rating um, let's go with a 81. Yeah, sure. 81 sounds pretty reasonable. Um, yeah, not a, not a horrible beer. Uh, I believe on beer, I get this gets a uh, 76. I'm actually impressed. Yeah, 81 is actually pretty good, I, I think, for this beer. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't highly recommend it. If you see it at a bar, get it on draft, I guess. But um, there probably are better options out there. 81 is okay rating. So until next time, guys, cheers. Later.